it's me again. The market is down, and for a lot of people, emotions are running very high. So, an attempt to cheer you guys up. I'm going to do, like, some really boring math. By the way, this isn't financial advice. You are thinkers of independent thought. You can make your own judgments. You are free thinkers. This is my thoughts. And I'm doing some math. So. Let's talk about the markets down today, but oil is still maintaining about 85 bucks a barrel, 84, $85 ish. It went down, it was at 87 and then it went down slightly. But if you look at this chart here of oil, you can see it's gone up, pulled back, gone up, pulled back, a little gone up, it's stair stepping up. We're just on that next step perhaps, but let's talk about uh, some math and what happens if the price of oil keeps going up from a business standpoint. So suppose that you're going to finance this or VC it or you know you're the buyer. When oil goes up a dollar because we're talking about 3.2 billion barrels of oil. When oil goes up a dollar on this scale, how does that affect a potential buyer or VC investor who wants majority stake in this? Because the value of the mineral rights will go up, right? Oil goes up, the value of those mineral rights also go up. Let's examine this. So, but first we have to find a rate. So cost of goods sold is usually a, a flat fee. It was $25 in 2019, which is what I was basing my numbers off of. It will probably go up this year. So let's reflect it as a higher percentage. All right. It's not as much of a percentage, but this with this percentage, it kind of takes into account inflation and the rising cost because then it's related to the cost of oil. So we'll just do a percentage for now. So if it's $25 cost of goods sold and oil was $70, and also this keeps everything like a bit more conservative, right? You divide, what's the percentage of cost of goods sold to barrel oil? Well, at that low price, it's about 35%, 35.7%, right? You divide this by total, that's your percentage, 35.7%. So now we have a percentage. Because now every time oil goes up a dollar, so it goes up a dollar. For every dollar oil goes up, you subtract. You subtract 35.7 cents, right? Because 35.7% of a dollar is 35.7 cents. You're left with about 64 cents, right? That's, that's your gross value. And then there, here's the multiplier, the 12%, right? That leaves us with 7.8 7 cents. So it's 0 0.078 dollars. So now, you multiply 7, for, so for every dollar, every, every dollar oil goes up, crude barrel. Oil in the ground goes up um, about 7.8 cents. If there's 3.2 billion barrels in the Oro Grande of oil, okay, and you're going to multiply that by 0 .078, $7, 7.8 cents, 7.8 cents, right? The value of the Oro Grande went up overall, the value to the rights, the value to the oil of the Oro Grande went up $249.6 million dollars. For every $1 that oil rises, this thing goes up $249.6 million. Suppose McCabe and University Lands want to keep their mineral rights and they just want perpetual royalties. That's fine. So we're going to subtract out their royalties, which is 25%. University Lands has 20% royalty mineral rights. McCabe has 4.5% royalty mineral rights. And then there's a half a percent of other various entities. And this can all be found in the, you know, 2020, 
20 torch light 10k so you take out the the mineral rights for university land mccabe and then you're left with 187.2 million dollars so from a business standpoint the more you wait around for oil to go up this is how much it's costing you right supply and demand maybe somebody else will want to pay more money for that mineral right so this is something to think about while we're waiting around and the market's red for every one dollar this oil goes up you do all this math right the value of the ore grande basin rough estimate goes up about 187.2 million dollars Uh, so that's nice and torch lights you know if you take torch light overall gets 49 percent 49.9 percent but if you subtract it's overall mineral rights but if you subtract out mccabe and university and that's the overall okay now you multiply it by 66.5 because that's subtracting out the mccabe and university interest so if you multiply 187.2 million by 66.5%, that's $124.48 million that the torchlight portion of those assets go up. Because torchlight had pretty much a majority stake. So that's very nice, something to think about again. Um, so for every one dollar oil goes up, the value of our assets that we hold through MMTLP goes up 124 million dollars. About. Okay, guys, I I'm not expecting today's Friday, and the option chain does expire today, and then those shares settle next week. I'm not expecting any announcements today or anything to happen today, but if something does, I'll be surprised, pleasantly surprised. Um, but I'm not expecting anything to happen until, you know, things settle out, but you never know. Um, but again, I'm not, you know, if something does happen, I'll be pleasantly surprised, but the only thing I'm expecting is what's written those options are indeed expiring the mmat mmtlp attached options the chain's getting broken tonight okay guys i will see you soon goodbye